For over 90 days now, 490 Palestinian administrative detainees have continued a collective boycott of Israeli military courts. The mass protest action was launched in January 2022 under the slogan, Our decision is freedom, no to administrative detention. Palestinian detainees have boycotted Israeli military courts at all levels, including the courts of first instance, the appellate courts and the civil high court. They have refused to appear for hearings at courts and have barred their attorneys from representing them in absentia until Israel stops the use of this policy. So what is administrative detention? The unlawful and arbitrary practice authorizes Israel to indefinitely detain people without charge or trial. Detention orders are reviewed every six months. Arrests are made based on secret evidence reviewed only by Israel's intelligence agency. Arrest warrants are issued by a region's presiding Israeli military commander. The detainee is not informed of the charges against them nor are their lawyers. This constitutes a violation of Articles 9.1 and 9.2 of the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights. The so-called trial takes place in a military court which is not bound by international conventions and principles. This includes due process rights and fair trial standards. Detainees also do not have access to the evidence against them and they cannot challenge it in a court. In the over three months since the Palestinian detainees launched their struggle, Israel has renewed their detention orders in absentia. Among them is Amal Nakhle, who was arrested when he was 17 years old and continues to be detained despite suffering from a rare and serious neuromuscular disease. Israel has escalated its use of administrative detention, targeting prominent human rights defenders, politicians and also former prisoners. According to the Prisoner Support and Human Rights Association, Adamir, Israeli occupation authorities issued 5,728 detention orders against Palestinians between 2017 and 2021. In retaliation to the Palestinian Unity Intifada of 2021, 1,695 detention orders were issued amid a campaign of mass arrests. Another 398 orders were issued between January and March 2022. Palestinian administrative detainees have condemned the practice as a barbaric and racist tool that has consumed hundreds of years from the lives of the Palestinian people. Administrative detention is permissible under international law for the most extreme instances. Israel routinely uses the practice in violation of prescribed parameters. It has claimed to be under a continuous stage of emergency since 1948 to justify the use of extraordinary measures. According to Adamir, Israel has made use of three separate laws to hold Palestinians indefinitely and arbitrarily. These include Article 285 of Military Order 1651, which is imposed on the occupied West Bank. Military commanders are empowered to detain a person if they have so-called reasonable grounds to presume that the security of the area or public security require that detention. While a detainee can technically appeal the order at the judicial review stage, a vast majority of appeals are just dismissed. Detainees in the occupied West Bank are often also deported and then interned within Israel, which is a violation of the Fourth Geneva Convention. The second major tactic deployed by Israel is the 2002 Unlawful Combatants Law, which is used against the Palestinians in besieged Gaza. An unlawful combatant is defined as a person who has participated either directly or indirectly in hostile acts against the State of Israel or is a member of a force perpetuating hostile acts against the State of Israel. The law contains even fewer protections than those afforded to the administrative detainees. The third legal tactic invoked for administrative detentions is the Emergency Powers Detentions Law, which applies to people who hold Israeli citizenship. Israel has recently indicated its intention to expand the use of administrative detention against Palestinians living within the 1948 border. 
Beyond the blatant violation of international law, Palestinian detainees have also spoken of severe psychological trauma that is caused by this practice. Many are subjected to torture and abuse during interrogation. If and when detainees are released, they often arrive at the last checkpoint only to find out that their detention has been renewed. Palestinians have been resisting their unlawful and arbitrary detention through means of protest including hunger strikes and boycotts. In 2021, administrative detainee Hisham Abu Hawash went on hunger strike for 141 days to demand his freedom. Others include Kayed Fasus and Migdad al Kawasme also went on hunger strike for over 100 days, successfully forcing Israel to end their arbitrary detention. The ongoing comprehensive boycott of military courts is taking place alongside other resistance actions within Israeli prisons. On 15th March, the entire Palestinian prisoner movement comprising thousands of people returned all three meals in solidarity with the administrative detainees.